Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing, and hopefully actually finishing this time, Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Specifically Spyro. Wrong button. Year of the Dragon. We're currently on Midnight Mountain, which is the last world of the game. So we just need to clear out everything in here and um That shouldn't, hopefully, take too, too long. Let's start with Agent 9. Because then that'll unlock him for that other stage that we need to worry about. What was that? Did you see a Rhinoch? I thought I saw a Rhinoch. Ooh, take it from me, Spyro. Never spend a week in a cage. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, your whole island will be knee-deep in Rhinochs. Well, gotta go. Mr. Laser Blaster and I have a whole lot of work to do. Now for some of the more questionable oh, gameplay in this game. I, my favorite pupil. Welcome back to my island laboratory. I'm afraid Rhinox have taken over the entire island. Could you stop them before they destroy all my research? Yeah, all of a sudden we're in an... Uh, actually, interestingly, it's third person. Controls are reversed from what I want. Um, no, don't. Yeah, I think I had looked this up before as well. I was like, there's just no way for me to invert X. So this is just going to be super awkward. Because this is the opposite of how I usually play games. And maybe some people are not going to like the fact that I usually play with inverted X and Y. And to them I say, ha. Uh, you know, I think, wasn't there like a, maybe I have to collect it. They used to be open the gate. Rhinox are waiting to ambush us as soon as I lower this force field. I expect they'll keep coming until you shoot the red panic button next to the door where they emerge. Duly noted. Shoot panic button. Done. Not really sure how that happened, but sure. I guess that door is just where they come out of. Hello. These indicators show that a bunch of Rhinox are hiding behind the display screen. I'll switch on the view pedestal, and you shoot them as they attack. I recommend using your sniper mode. Sniper mode? Alright. They're not really hiding behind the display screen, are they? They're kind of hiding behind the console 
in front of the display screen. See what kind of shape the machine room is in. I have a feeling the Rhinox haven't been keeping it too clean. But why do you get to work around? Why don't you give me some of that warping technology, Professor? You'll want to use sniper mode, then zoom in for pinpoint accuracy. I'm not sure that the birds are really the fault of the Rhinox, but sure. Hello. You're dead. So are you. So there we go, four of them taken care of before we even get in there. One that I hit completely on accident. Nice work, Agent Nine. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a bird egg or dragon egg. Uh, what do you think? Uh, let's take a look. That looks like a dragon egg to me, Professor. Switch the gravitonometric generator back on. I hope no birds got in here. We're not gonna have to do the dra the gravitron from the uh, DVD, are we? Oh dear. That is a lot of birds, and they're swooping at me. Oh crap. Yes, the professor, whose name is The Professor. Also, hello to you. Ow. I am completely eating it right now. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, so I think I'm far enough away now that they'll not bother me. I think that's so grumpy. Just giving them serotonin boosters, that's all I'm doing. where I expect we'll find some Rhinox wearing armor. You'll need a more powerful weapon to defeat them. It smells better already. It smells like death. <laughs> Not sure what that's saying about you, Professor. All I know is that Sparks is not available right now, so I have to collect all of these myself. should be highly effective against armor. Give it a shot. Okay. Press the, well in my case, Y button to throw bombs. Carefully in your throw, press and hold down. Lock and load. Except that I'm actually 
There's a critter over there. Oh, look at that, blue. It smells like blue. Anyway, before I deal with those Rhinox, I'm going back. Because we left behind a strong box that we can now destroy. Also, there is that over there. Which, good to know that, that uh, such things exist and that I need to look up sometimes. Uh, missing anything else? Looks like no. Think of it, aren't there like gems over here? No? Okay. Thought for sure that they hit some gems there. Just to just to trick you. Actually those could be at the end of all the way that he's pointing at, so. I'm just going to deal with y'all from all the way downtown. Really, that rebounded? Oh, come on, that was a hit. There we go. Well, how do I get over there? Guessing that's toward the end of the level or something, and I need to go over here first. Saving my laboratory. Now I can resume thinking. So what you're telling me is that you were not thinking up until this point. You are a very strange dude, Professor. You may want to get examined by someone. Just about. Um, so that's still closed. Oh, do I have to like hit that thing actually? Yeah, there we go. Alright, I just obliterated that tree for no reason. Actually, I wonder if there is a reason. 
Also, there is a counter of zero of six Rhinox. It just show. Oh, hello. I guess we're pulling a bit of a Spyro here, which is uh, killing various things on jet skis. Except that we're doing it from a stationary point rather than trying to raise things in mid-flight. There we go. Get rid of the map before we have to do it while flying. Yeah, exactly. And somehow that gives us an egg. No explanation, it just does. Well, those are three eggs here. Wrong button. Ah. sure where you're pointing to, but uh, let's try to figure it out. Looks like it's gonna be on the other side of the stage, so. Also, let's just see if there are any other big palm trees to obliterate, because I'm guessing that's probably how I get the um if there is a skill point, that's probably it. Oh, there was one in here. That's kind of rude, if you think about it. Hey, 700. 700, wow. Oh, just completely overshot that. Agent 9, please. We can just exit through here. Oh, wee, I love the sizzle of a high energy laser on the back end of a Rhinox. <laughs> Too bad the sorceress didn't send more of them. I was really getting into the zone. Well, now that my island is safe again, I guess I'll have to go Rhinox hunting elsewhere. You headed out? See you later, alligator. Well, that's that's kind of neat. That's, uh, I didn't realize that there was additional dialogue if you went back to the entrance. Oh, I am entirely sure, Tyrion, whether Agent 9 is fine. He's not. Uh, so let us go back to the fireworks factory. I can press the correct buttons. 
I've got the uh, I've got the mental A B swap right now because I I have been playing on the Switch a little too long probably. Now it's just a matter of remembering where Agent Nine's segment was here. I just come to think of it, if uh, if those are the only gems on the stage, then it, then uh, sparks should point directly to the Agent Nine segment. Ow! Oh, that's not going anywhere. Okay, cool. Does actually let me? I think it let me. Let's me use. Yeah, let let's use this cannon right away, because I've already finished this the stage. Are you pointing somewhere else, Sparks? Did I miss some other gems? Ow! Jerk! Ah yes, it's down here. Hey Spyro, I'm helping a kid named Handel recover some secret rocket plans the sorceress stole. You know I'm always ready to kick some Rhinox booty. Indeed. So this is where we experience the really not that great uh, first person shooter. Shooter skills to take them out. Remember, press the attack button to shoot, and use the roll left and roll right buttons to dodge left and right. Left and white. He didn't say white there, but he said right, which is in fact right. So pretty much where they just got us used to uh, using LNR to zoom in and out, they have changed how it works. Oh jeez. Ah. They stop that. I think we're temporarily safe. Also, apparently, despite having health, uh, Sparks is not helping us get gems. Okay, so we can still do the uh, sniper mode thing. Yeah, this, uh, this level definitely gave me a lot of trouble as a kid.
Yeah, it is worth looking up to see if there are any ninjas on the ceiling. Because that is a thing that can happen. And you can snipe them off the ceiling, so... You see? There's one. Boom. Get out of here. I want to deal with you. Well, it was definitely worth getting the, the ones on the ceiling first there. Yeah, as soon as you hit one in a room, they all come after you. Be real nice to have sparks for this, because uh, especially with his uh, increased range. Not really sure what you're doing there. Very indecisive ninja. And it looks like we're at the end. Or at least it looks like we're at the end, because there's a, uh, a dragon egg here. Just make sure to get all the gems. I hope that was all the gems, because uh, there's not much of a way to check. You can't do a sparks ping. Oh, we're not done. Uh, what, do we have to go back? Oh, we have to go back and the rooms have been repopulated. Really hiding all that well, buddy. There we go. Let's take care of these jerks on the ceiling.
Also, it's been a while since I've played Banjo Tooie, so. I'm not entirely sure which part of Banjo Tooie this reminds you of, but, uh. I'll take your word for it. Kind of a jerk move, not gonna lie. Putting the ninja box somewhere that I have to put myself like solidly in danger. Is there another one over there? Yeah, there was. Ah, had had another completely unnecessary FPS section, gotcha. I am... that shot was not hitting anything. I absolutely refuse, game. Missed you. Nothing there. Alright. I think we're clear. wasn't anything over here, was there? Oh, there definitely was. That's where the rest of the stage is. Looks like there looks like... Oh, okay. Well, there is a one up here. Which failed to delete properly, apparently. By the way, if we didn't get that extra hit for Sparks, it would go, uh, the number would go from 100 to 66 to 33 to 1, and then you're dead. In this case, it goes 175, 50, 25, 1. Well, that was unnecessarily dangerous. Anything here? Looks like no. Ah! At least the ones with the rocket guns stay dead. Also, that was the last of the gems. Hey, buddy. You appear to be in trouble. Let me help you with that. Thanks for rescuing me. You better look after this egg before the Rhinox try to blow that up, too. That wasn't a very, um, useful explosive. Like, that wouldn't have killed you, even if I hadn't been here. Donovan, what's your opinion? And there we go. Uh, looks like I have to exit the area first, so let's do that.
Okay. Um, I forget. Did we release... Um, did, did we actually save... What's this cat face? Or... I, I don't remember. Hunter. Yes. I don't know why I couldn't remember the name Hunter. My memory has been declining, I guess. But yes, Hunter got himself stuck in a bit of a jam last time, and uh, I can't remember if uh, we actually got him out of that. Also, you can see now Sparks is a little more radiant with the 4 HP. Let's go to Crystal Islands. Spiral! Don't tell anyone, but we've stolen some magic from the sorceress! We're hiding here whilst we practice using it. Unfortunately, we've had the beat of an accident and turned everything into crystal, and it seems to have aggravated the indigenous creature. Also, you're Italian for some reason. So since Spyro has been called to this area, I'm guessing it's not to mollify the indigenous creatures, it's to destroy them. The Spyro knows only violence. Oh, that's tricky. That is rude, game. I don't agree. Italian gnome, yeah, apparently. <laughs> also, last game we had cat bats. This game we have beaver bats. I'm pretty sure Insomniac were just counting on the fact that nobody would ask questions about why these weird animals exist. Would you like to see a magic trick? Watch carefully! As you can see, there is nothing up my left sleeve and nothing up my right sleeve. But now, with a wave of my hands and the magic word, Alakazam! A la peanut butter sandwiches! Oh, I actually can't charge you. Alright. The inventor of those things to clean the X. Oh, that great. Zamboni. Definitely looks like a gem up there. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Or maybe if I take it out, the entire island goes plummeting. That's also possible. Let's not ask too many questions about how video game physics work. Oh, this magic is just misdirection, you know? Which is why I'm going to start that whirlwind over there. Abracadabra! Ah! So does it only stay running for as long as you're sustaining the beam?
Because if so, that's not a very good whirlwind. Also, considering that magic comes from dragons, how does this area still exist? Yeah, I think that the um, whirlwind is supposed to be here. So this guy's magic trick is uh, kind of not the best. Okay, I'll show you again. If you watch carefully, maybe you'll be able to see how it's done. Abracadabra! Seems that how it's done is you need to have a magic wand and say Abracadabra. I was gonna make a reference, but then this guy showed up. Spyro, did you know I happen to be a very talented amateur magician? My specialty uh -huh. is the uh, amazing extending bridge trick. I'd love to show you, but I'll need a small donation. First, for my expenses, you understand. Sure. Very good. Ha, ah, let's see. Hocus pocus, ziggledy zen, make this bridge get long again. Your spell sucks. Erica Pocus. I've been working on a great new magic trick. This bear keeps spoiling it. Now. Pretty sure that's everything there. Well, I suppose I could show you my new trick. As long as you promise not to tell the great Zamboni, he steals all my best work. Alakazam! <laughs> yeah, I think he's kind of ahead of you on that one. Sorry, bud. to use it in a trick, but uh, my magic, it just keeps bouncing off. I wonder why that is. Lloyd, can you tell him? While you're worried about your modesty? This is straight up that. Like, you can't tell me it's not. This is the princess's secret slide. And somehow I made it in one try. <laughs> What do you think of that, Eloise? Are you impressed? Can't wait to race a fat penguin. Uh-huh. 
how do I get over there? I can glide over there. There's a whirlwind on there. Does that take me over there? Huh. There's a lockbox here. Interesting. Yes, that does take me over here. Yes, yes, yes. I see a little silhouette of a son of a bitch over there, but let's take care of this uh, of this side area. The amazing Rendini is about to put on a display of prestidigitation. I've heard it's quite impressive, so I'm going to watch the show. I am afraid my magic show seems to have overexcited them all. All they need is a good bonk on the head to calm them down. And you look like just the Yeti to help. So you're making me play a large scale version of Whack and Mole. Like, not even veiling it. A light tap on the head should sort them out. But be careful, my friends are trying to burrow after them. So, bash the moles, don't bash the gnomes. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to bash 20 of these in a minute. Oh, come on, I hit you. And there's definitely a, a lot more of them now, but I'm not gonna get there if you take so long to get to get out. Oh, come on! Well, that, did not <sighs> that was not particularly fair, game. I disagree. Now, this is another challenge that uh, I believe had a fixed uh, camera angle to it in the original. This time, I'm pretty sure the fixed camera angle would probably help. Not that I was having particularly good luck uh, doing this uh, in the original, but uh, I do think it gave you a better idea of like where to look in your nearby vicinity.
Well, maybe if your friends got out of the damn way. Oh, come on. And, like, part of the problem is, like, I can literally just get stuck inside them. Like, if one, if something pops up under my feet, then the, the hitboxes collide and I can't move. See, like, right there. Please get out of my way. Holy crap, please. If you want me to deal with your problem, then get your men out of here so I can just concentrate on what's important. This one has a chance to win, unless I'm not paying attention and hit one of these assholes. Two more. There we go. And look, one of my friends dug this up a while it's Hank, I tell you what. You just have you just have your best day, buddy. I'm glad that it's not like in uh, some of the 3D Mario games where if you try to do one of these little side games and fail, you die.
Here you only die at a side game if you actually died at a side game. Anyway, son of a bitch! I don't know where it went. Where the hell did it go? Oh, really? I can't fly over that? Oh, game, please. Well, I'm dead. The Galaxy Games and I think... I think, uh, Sunshine might have done it too. Son of a bitch! Like, the problem is, he goes so much faster than I do. There we go. What did that give me? That gave me max. See, another egg over there. That's many. What the? Why did it take away my flight? There was no reason for it to take away my flight, but it did. But where am I now? Oh, I'm back at where the egg was. Okay, so now this whirlwind is just up. No shenaniganry of uh, having to bring it back up again. Dang. I was trying to be fancy there, but yeah, that, that one was on me. That one was on me. Okay, so we still need to find the key for this lockbox. I think we gotta be flying for that. <sighs> Shut up. Um, do we... Actually, does this son of a bitch have it? Or is it just the same son of a bitch?
I really appreciate the fact that uh, that his plane doesn't actually follow the laws of thermodynamics. By which I mean the the it doesn't boost. How that has anything to do with the laws of thermodynamics is beyond me. I've definitely not been here. And there is an egg here. An egg named Grace. And that is the last egg for this area. And now we still gotta find that key. It in such a diagonal alignment there, but uh, oh, come on. Okay, so let's keep exploring a little bit here. It is not outside the realm of possibility that I'll just have to look this up. Because I honestly have no clue where this key is. And Sparks is not going to ping us toward it. Really wish that I could ping while I'm flying. Whoa, what the hell happened there? Must have hit the edge of the of the stage, but uh, usually that doesn't kill me. <laughs> Maybe on top of that? That's what the that's what Sparks appears to be suggesting. You know what, this son of a bitch can live this time. Aha. 
those are indeed the last gems. And the return home portal is right here. I say I really like this uh, this mod that I'm using that just tweaks Spyro's texture to be scalier. Like it's such, such a small touch up, but I like it. Desert ruins. Spyro! I've heard a lot of people talking about all the things you've done for them. Do you think you could help find my girlfriend Tara? She went off to raid the tomb of the stone golem, but I haven't seen her since. I'd go look inside the tomb myself, but, you know, there's all these scorpions. So your girlfriend Tara has gone to raid a tomb. Why does that sound familiar? Also, why do these scorpions spit fire out of their tails? That's not how scorpions work. close actually. Actually that didn't look like fire, that looked like it just spit barbs out of its tail. Ow! Ooh. I'm really hoping that I don't end up having to uh, navigate through this death water with a uh, with invulnerability power up. Okay, so that's probably where I'm. Mi Apparently have been ordered to stretch and posture. Give me a second. Alright. Oh. Goodness knows I probably need it. I have not been doing my ring fit as much as I should. Finally did a session today. And I'm probably going to be feeling it tomorrow. Also, hello, Jomara. Or I should say, Ju. Hi. And hydration has been achieved. Hey, there's an egg. Andy! Andy gotta get 86!
There's a lot of branching paths in this stage, isn't there? Oh, took that hit, but here's another egg. Nelly. It's gonna grow up and become a famous rapper whose trademark is putting a condom on his head. Um... Never mind. Hey, and there's the uh, there's a lockbox key too. But this has been worth it. Of course, I've lost track of where the lockbox was. <laughs> oh jeez. That hurt a little. Hmm. Sheila, have you done something with your hair? For a bit of a walkabout right now. You know, sometimes you just long for the simple, old fashioned pleasures of yesteryear, don't you? The pleasures of yesteryear. I see what you're doing. I have no camera control right now, in case that wasn't, you know, blatantly obvious. Somehow landed on the egg. Sorry about that, Lester. Ah, upset, Lester. Oh, really? I overshot that. Oh dear. I am nervous about my well-being. And sure enough, There we go, that's how you deal with that. Doing the steppies. Indeed, Joel. Pete. Of course, since I died, everything respawned. That's not great. Your deal. Spyro, I bet you're glad to see me. 
It just uh, happens that I know the uh, password to open the door to the tomb of the stone golem, but it seems to have slipped my mind for the moment, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very well then. The password to open the tomb is. Are you ready? I mean, yes, sucker. One or the other, sure. Oh. That was a big mob. Can't charge. And now you're gonna notice these will uh, light up in sequence. Until we kill that guy. Kind of love that they didn't make sure Money Pies is 100% bastard in this. Not the term I'd use. Close to the term I'd use. Oh, uh, hey, look at this. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's going back to the end. Okay, so we did release, uh, we did release Hunter, so we can go back and do hunter related things to carry the latest technology super high impact underwater missile launchers want to ride him and try blasting some sharks you might be asking what manta ray is talking about the one from the previous game cuz somehow he brought it from avalar to here just watch out for the shark riders they're carrying the latest jx5 underwater tracking ammunition I wonder if JX5 is like a reference to one of the developers in this game. But yes, before you finish this challenge. Try not to get hit ready to try. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. JX5. But before you finish this challenge, you probably want to uh Make sure to hit all of the uh, strong boxes. I don't know if there's just the two. Also, these uh, these enemies appear to shoot from the rear. So, I mean, you can grab the gems afterward. That's not a problem. But the strong boxes will only break. Uh, will only break with the, um, oh, come on, really? With the missiles. Turn it into a woolly mammoth for five minutes, but it should still be okay. So Bianca's on our side now, by the way. Sadie. Hey, well, one of the one of the cats that lives uh, at Mazzy's house is, is named Sadie. Also, Jewel.
Bobby ini. Straight down. Oh, are you pointing at the uh, at the exit portal? Okay. Why is breathing not an issue now? It's breathing lot. Yeah, last time it wasn't breathing, it was poison. Or acid or whatever, whatever the hell it is. Mouse. Well, well, look at you showing up here to raid the tomb after I've done all the hard work. I've spent all day pressing switches and shoving boxes around, and you just waltz in here expecting to claim the treasure. Well, you might as well have it. It's only a lousy egg anyway. Well, we're looking for lousy eggs, especially eggs that contain Marty. And look at them. I wouldn't mind having an adventure mouse girlfriend. But somehow this leads back to the start of the stage. Ah, that's where the lockbox is. Looks like we're not done yet. Please. Hmm. Time for our favorite game. How do I get up there? Oh hey, there's also that, uh... Ah, no! No! Mm. I tried to glide there in order to take fewer hits, but it wasn't, let, it wasn't letting me glide, glide at all. No! Ah. Really not a fan of like 
if you don't make this jump, you're going to take lots of damage. I got sparks back, but that's not going to help. Like, I need two hits in order to survive that. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> and now everything's alive again. That jump do be dumb. Yeah, at least the critters come back. So I can get some health back sometimes. Managed to save that one, but still didn't actually make the jump. Start from a pillar? From what pillar? Okay, I can't climb this. Oh my goodness. Not really sure how I made that one, but okay, sure. Alright. Alright. It's all good. We did it. It's the important thing. That is, however, not all of them. Of course, at this point, I've completely forgotten, like, I have lost my spatial awareness as to, like, where that hand on the ledge was. Oh, jeez. Oh, Spyro, where are you going? Take that is. Oh, okay. Now that's where we came out for this uh, for this cave. But I've been following the wrong rabbit hole here. Bark. 
works. Yeah, there's a gem. Fortunately, this guy up here stayed dead. Ah, I see. That was the last one. Yeah, the the platforming admittedly is not the best in this game. But I do feel like in this remake, it's like smoother in some places and more jank in others. So it strikes a weird sort of balance. Haunted Tomb. Whoa. What happened to the camera there? Ah, yet another daredevil adventurer has come to rob our catacombs of loot. Let's just hope you're made of tougher stuff than the last guy. If you can survive the trials of our catacombs and answer my riddle, we will give you a prize befitting your efforts. Here is my riddle. I am a vessel without hinges, lock, or lid. Yet, within my walls, a golden treasure is hid. What am I? Egg, give it to me. Um, but yeah, I... It's been a while since I've actually played... Um... Since I played, uh, Crash and the same trilogy. I have played it, it's just been a while. Been a while! What does this button do? Oh, okay. Uh, get the hell out of my path. Out of my path. Really? What the hell? There we go. Anyway, it, it has been a while since I've played uh, Reignite, uh, Insane Trilogy, rather. But uh, I do recall Insane Trilogy fixing a lot more problems than it caused. Here's what I think of you. The originals use either a box or a cylinder as a capsule shape, and the remake uses a capsule. That was absolutely not what I needed to do there. This is what I needed to do. And that was required because that gave us gems. up here. There's a skill point. Sure, I'll take that. Ow. 
Uh, I disagree, game. Told you it was made on Unity. After a certain point, use capsules as the, the default for bodies. Don't know very much about Unity either. And frankly, I'm not interested in learning after uh, that one comment from the Unity CEO. supposed to get this. There we go. Now what do I do with that? Hey. No, that's not it. Like, why does it give me that, is my question. The engine has been a mess the last couple of years. Fair enough. Monetize my game the way that I want to do it, not that the way capitalism wants me to do it. Okay, but like, now what? Like, it, it gives me this. It must be for a reason, right? I genuinely do not remember what it is I'm supposed to be doing. That, that was uh, that was straight up me being a doofus. Don't mind me. Come on, give me another one. That was unnecessary, but uh, yeah, stand by that. That was pretty cool.
Okay, this one's time limited. If they're not all time limited. I appreciate that this guy doesn't throw at you unless you're looking at unless you're looking at him. Like that is genuinely a nice touch. What do you think, Christine? Really? You miss the old days where where people would take pot shots on you and can really do anything about it. How can you miss the old days? That's what I say. You're literally newborn. No, I am using mods. I'm just not using a whole lot of them. Uh, the, the intent was to have Spyro do the last leg of, uh, of the adventure. I think I missed the switch, actually. But uh, I thought the adventure was going to end last week. <laughs> so I didn't have a mod for Spyro uh, last week either. And then I'm, again, not having one this week because I know I'm going to finish this time. You missed the Dragon Daddies. I mean, that is a weirdly specific statement to make, but I'm not gonna fault you for it, you know? We have a talk. First round of the annual demolition hovercraft competition is about to begin. There is room for one more contestant, but you'll have to answer a riddle to qualify. The riddle is this. If one dragon can lay one egg in 12 years, how long would it take for 100 dragons to lay 100 eggs? 12 years. Very impressive. That is correct. Good luck in the demolition hovercraft competition. Like that's an actually kind of easy question. I don't know why you even bothered asking. Okay, press A for a straight shot, Y for a long shot, for a lob shot, and L and R to dodge left and right. Hey, it's cool you if you don't know. Welcome to Let's Play Hover. Oh, 
those lob shots are weak. Might be able to get him from behind there. Or not. Just gotta know how to juke him. Yeah, I think this is a, this is a two round thing, so... The extended board is not available yet. MJ. I know a person named MJ. Championship round. However, this is an exceedingly dangerous sport. Might I suggest you quit while you're still in one piece? Bring it on. Such a brave reptile you are, but you'll need much more than bravery to win the championship. Same controls. Yeah, at least this isn't like a one hit thing. Like if you take a hit, you just take a hit on sparks. You don't take uh you don't immediately lose. Of course that does mean that if you die, you actually die. If you die in the game, you die in real life. Fortunately, that critter dropped a blue uh, butterfly, so that brings us back to full health with an additional life. Alright. I just kind of threw a pot shot out there and uh, that happened to be exactly what I needed to do. Move faster, pokey. in over a thousand years. I proudly present you this year's grand prize. TJ. Yeah, we can we can now look around here safely. But there ain't any gems to be had. Congratulations, you won a lifetime responsibility. Except that's not how dragons work. So we got three of the eggs so far. We still got three more to go. We got most of the gems already, though. That's pretty cool. And we're going to deal with the rest of it after the break. So y'all can take a moment. Uh, get something to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. 
And in about 10-15 minutes, we shall clear out the haunted tomb as well as any other stages that might remain. There aren't a whole lot of them, considering that we have 130 of 150 eggs and 13,502 or 15,000 treasure. So we're getting there. So, see you in a bit. <laughs>